Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be exploring the world of Hellboy. Now of course a lot of you people would have seen the Hellboy first look image of David Harbour wielding that absolutely badass looking sword. And I'm sure a lot of people were thinking, well what's this sword? This never appeared in the Del Toro movies. What is it? Why is it there? And how does it relate to this movie that we're going to be watching? And that's what I'm exploring today. I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the world of Hellboy and that specific sword. So this will be a fairly short video because there's not actually that much information on that sword. But it's Excalibur, believe it or not. So from the comics, this is the best possible guess as to what this sword is going to be. And also I had it confirmed to me by sources that have seen the movie. So it is Excalibur. Now a lot of people will be aware of what Excalibur is, but it was a legendary sword which King Arthur used. And they keep this in the Mike Mignola comics. That is the origin of Excalibur in the Hellboy comics. Now after King Arthur's death, the sword makes a massive return, believe it or not, by being pulled from the stone by the rightful king of Britain, who is none other than Hellboy, believe it or not. Now, whether this is going to be what they keep to in the movie, who knows? We're not sure about that. We do know that Hellboy will be in England. There are large chunks of it filmed in the UK and specifically in London. But as per the comics, Hellboy used Excalibur for a very, very small amount of time. Uh, more specifically, he actually used it to destroy and kill Nimues, the Blood Queen's champion. So, of course, this ties directly into what we'll be seeing in the movie. We know in the film the Blood Queen is the main villain, she is the antagonist. So, it makes sense that in the upcoming film, this will be Excalibur. And also, if you look at the design of it, it looks pretty reminiscent to the comics. There's not a massive difference to it. Now, again, if we're looking back at the comics, Hellboy, once he had destroyed the champion of Nemu, he decided that he was going to face her on his own. So he was going to chuck Excalibur to one side, and he gave the sword to Alice Monaghan. Again, another character which we are seeing in this film. So it would make perfect sense that they are going to follow this trend from the source material to the movie. Potentially, in the film, the final battle, Hellboy will use the sword Excalibur to destroy Nimue's champion, whoever that's going to be, maybe Gragich, and then he's going to give it to Alice Monaghan. So there is a brief history of Hellboy's sword. Now how it factors into the film, like I said, it's going to make perfect sense that Hellboy is going to pull this from the stone or he's going to be presented to it by someone who's watching over the sword. Now whether he is the rightful king of Britain, as per the comics to the movie, we don't know. I think that would be a bit of a stretch, but as we know that this movie is going to be a hard R with a fun light tone, that could be something comical, you know, seeing this gigantic red demon-like creature carrying a sword and saying that he's the rightful king of Britain would be quite comical. But I hope that brings you up to speed on what the sword is and how it will function in the movie. Like I said, some of this is guesswork, but a lot of it makes perfect sense. And it is Excalibur, that's confirmed to me by my sources, so it definitely is Excalibur, but the rest of it who knows? However, that wraps it up here for me. I've got nothing else to say. That's a brief lore video. What did you think about this? What do you think about the sword? And are you looking forward to the movie? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you haven't already, I have released a full spoiler video for this movie based on the information provided to me by my sources. So you can check that out. I've linked it down below. And also I did a video on whether Abe Sapien would make an appearance in this movie. So again, I'll link that down below. But anyway guys, I'm done here. Let me know your thoughts. If you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the world of pop culture and movie news. As always, if you like this video, give it a like and a share. I've been Mr. H. Take care.